Hi there. Can you believe the TV series Emergency 1972 was released 51 years ago? Our generation grew up attached to TV screens. I think it would be fun if you and your family sat on the sofa and watched the series again with the entire cast of Then and Now. Who passed away and who still looks great today? Find out the answers in our video. Okay, let's check it out together. Kevin Tigga played the character paramedic Roy DeSoto. He was 28 years old when filming in 1972. Now he's living a healthy life with many passions in life at 79 years old in Skagit County, Washington. Vital signs. 150 over 90. Rampart, the BP is 150 over 90, the pulse is 110, and the respirations are 25. Oh, I looked at, you know, the red through, and then I started looking at Korsakoff's syndrome, and, and then there was a, there were YouTube. Uh, uh. Julie London played the character Dixie McCall, RN, in the series when she was 26 years old in 1972. Sadly, on October 18, 2000, she passed away from lung cancer at the age of 74 in Los Angeles, California. Bitten by a rattlesnake. 10 Get me the county fire dispatcher. John, hang on, pal. Help's on its way. It's, you know, you do records, but you won't sing in person. Well, um, I'll tell you, we've been doing the show now for... Marco Lopez played the character Fireman Marco Lopez. He was 37 years old when filming in 1972. Now he's living a healthy life with many passions in life at 88 years old in Los Angeles, California. Michael Norell played the character Captain Hank Stanley in the series when he was 35 years old in 1972. We regret to inform you that on May 12, 2023, he passed away from old age at the age of 85 in Huntingdon, Pennsylvania. Does that engine bring back any memories, sir? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Believe it or not, like I said, this was my first. Randolph Mantooth played the character paramedic John Gage in the series when he was 27 years old in 1972. Now he's currently living a happy life with family and friends at the age of 78 in Sacramento, California. The kids. Roy, that's not cool. Huh? That's not cool at all. But th that's really remarkable because uh, it it's my favorite, too. <laughs> Even though Kevin, who played... Bobby Troop played the character Dr. Joe Early. He was 54 years old when filming in 1972. We regret to inform you that on February 7th, 1999... He passed away from a heart attack at the age of 81 in the Los Angeles suburb of Sherman Oaks. How was your jaw? <laughs> Looks like you cut your teeth with your tongue. <laughs> you have a trauma patient with a hip and pelvic fracture. And uh, it was based, of course, on the new bypass operation that's been perfected for the last, uh, I think it's... Tim Donnelly played the character Fireman Chet Kelly. He was 28 years old when filming in 1972. Sadly, on September 17, 2021, he passed away from complications of surgery at the age of 77 in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Rutabaga Delight featuring soybean gravy? Let's see that. Vince Howard played the character Police Officer Vince, LASD, in the film when he was 43 years old in 1972. We regret to inform you that on July 18, 2002, he passed away from leukemia at the age of 73 in San Pedro, California. Robert Fuller played the character Dr. Kelly Brackett in the series when he was 39 years old in 1972. 
Now he is currently 90 years old and living his life to the fullest in North Texas. So I went to class. Uh, Dick had me get up and do an improvisation, and I did it there with a young girl in class. And that night we all. Ron Pinkard played the character Dr. Mike Morton. He was 31 years old when filming in 1972. Now he is currently 82 years old and living his life to the fullest in Denver, Colorado. Also concerned with the psychosomatically induced organic illnesses, how fear and anxiety in your work can lead to ulcers. Excuse me, Doc. And so I advocate all over the country that the uh, Congress people or the uh, people who make laws or the Senate or whatever it requires is... Mike Stoker played the character Fireman Mike Stoker in the series when he was 31 years old in 1972. Now he is currently living a happy life with family and friends at the age of 82 in San Francisco, California. In America and uh, served two other times. Uh, Governor Wilson wanted me to cha help uh, turn things around with the, the Agricultural Labor Relations Board. He appointed me. The Sam Lanier played the character Radio Dispatcher. He was 41 years old when filming in 1972. Sadly, on May 21, 1997, he passed away from a heart attack at the age of 66 in Los Angeles, California. Let me know who's your favorite character from the TV series Emergency 1972 and leave your comments under this video. Remember to support us by liking and subscribing to the channel and pressing the notification bell to receive my upcoming videos. I can't wait to share more good memories with you. Thank you, and see you soon.